Enchanted. <laughs> That's great. That's so look at the new uh, oh, Donkey sorry. Style comedy series. You're excited. I get it. I uh, jury duty. <laughs> Please welcome James Marston and Ronald Gladden to our set. Hey. <laughs> that was really funny. That was a funny scene, man. So James, uh, break down what a jury duty is all about. I mean, it's the wildest experience I've ever done. I've been doing this for 30 years. It's basically a Truman Show kind of concept where you have myself playing myself or a version of myself and a lot of actors and one person who doesn't know that it's all fake. So it's a fake jury duty. And, and over the course of three and a half, four weeks, um, we show up to do jury duty every day. And he thinks it's a documentary. And basically, the way it was proposed to me is that I didn't want to do a prank show. We're not pranking him. We created this hero's journey for this guy and surrounded him with a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> and hopefully by the end of the show, he becomes the leader and, and unites us all. And he did that because he's a great guy. And, and uh, so it was the creators of The Office, Lee Eisenberg and Gene Sipnitsky. Oh, and, yeah. That and, alone. Uh, yeah, some of the, one of the producers from Borat. So clever, so original. Yeah. So it's a little curb your enthusiasm. A little bit. But with yeah. like a doc insight in real scenario. Right. Wow. But wait, right. Ronald, did you know what you were getting into then? Or how was this proposed to right. you? <laughs> so I was under the impression that this was just going to be a behind the scenes look, a never before, you know, filming of what it was like behind the scenes for jury duty. So I signed up for what I thought was a documentary. I didn't really know what was going on until the end. Did you answer an ad in the paper? Is that true? Or how did you get this? <laughs> I came across an ad on Craigslist, actually. What? <laughs> Is that what it was on? It was on Craigslist. Craigslist. And it said yeah. what? Dang. Uh, it was, I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was pretty vague. It basically just said, we're doing a never done before um, behind the scenes look at what it's like during the jury duty process. All we're going to do is we're just going to film you guys during deliberation and just show what it's like. Craigslist. And Jay, I got to imagine when they pitched it to you, James, were you like, I, there had to be a lot of questions. What made you ultimately want to do this? Well, I love the I love the creators, those guys who did The Office, and I've always wanted to explore like improvisational comedy. I just knew, and I thought this was a really original idea and a high wire act, like really ambitious to, yeah. to, to pull it off. I was like, that looks like a real judge. That judge, yeah. like, yeah. oh, 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 by the way, so that's yeah. Ike Baron Holtz's father who is a prosecutor his whole life, who actually also is an actor. So oh. lucked out with that. Perfect. Two other That's attorneys wild. were real attorneys who also gave up their careers to become actors. So we got really lucky oh, to, wow. to, to kind of populate the, yeah. the, uh, the courtroom with really, really intense. Uh, authenticity. Just, yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and gifted improvisational. So I wanted to, like Christopher Guest is a hero of oh, mine. Oh, I always wanted best. to do Man. that kind of comedy, and I thought, you know, in this day and age where you don't really get that many original ideas yeah. anymore, yeah. you know, this felt like a real kind of a challenge and a high wire act and like, you know, it, celebrating this guy's good character. And, <laughs> you know, at, at first I was like, boy, you know, wait, we're, we're like fooling this guy for three and a half weeks of his <laughs> life. I'm, I'm sort of questioning the morality of this, but like he was such a good yeah. human being. And, and again, we're just... I'm like acting like a self-involved, crazy version of myself, you know. It's but uh, but it was wild, man. I've never, never experienced anything like it in my life. And it's like one take. One take. Yeah. I mean, we every day is a day on jury duty, and you know we have. So How scripts, fun there as was, an actor to so like do an that? Yeah. Right, right. right. Exactly. So it was, there were scripts, but there was no dialogue scripted. It was like, okay, this is the moment where James goes and sits next to Ronald. And you know, talks about all his movies. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, just <laughs> what did you lead about... with? I love the enchanted what we saw on the <laughs> clip. Was, so, we didn't so... even know if he was going to know who I was. Right. Right. It's so funny, yeah, because you come across it in, incredibly like normal, right, and, and natural. But y you have to be on point. Like you said, everything's on one right. take. There's no coverage. There's no like a no. switching around. So, oh, that's fun. That's yeah. my that's kind of fun. movie. Right. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> well, and depending on how he reacts to these circumstances and these characters. We would have to pivot if it if it didn't follow the script. Oh, that's you know? funny. Wait, so and then when did you or Ronald? When did you know that you were the prop? Or that you were, you know what I mean? Yeah. When did you know that this was something different? Not till the very end. Not until the very last day. Oh my God, this is so. What great. was the What was the wildest thing uh, that, that someone did? Oh, I I mean honestly I can't narrow it down to just one thing. There were there was way too much crazy stuff, but I would say that Todd's character probably took the cake on every single crazy thing. The chair pants. The guy. chair pants. The chair Do pants. we have a picture of the chair pants? And we need this Mario for our set. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's like this the character awesome. that he plays. Yeah, he... It's like he's got these weird inventions where he's fusing a fake ear onto his ear. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Bizarre things like that. And he was meant to be part of the story to not antagonize you, but like trying to freak you out. And this guy's such a good guy. So nice. He took him under his wing oh. and like, just, I don't know. It was just, it, you it was passed, just perfect, Ronald. perfect. Yeah, I know, right? Did you know who James was? Because it could have gone wrong if he no, was a totally. jerk. And yeah. if right. he was like a bad guy, that could have gone really Different sideways. Different movie.
Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you know who James was? When, what was the moment where you kind of were like, oh my God, that's James Morrison? I mean, truthfully, I did have to do a Google search on the guy because, I mean, you, you, sit, you sit down on jury duty and I you're know, not you expecting to see... I know, you cried at the notebook. The best, I know. The best mo well, I don't want to ruin it for people, but one of the best moments is when we're in the waiting room getting ready to go into jury duty and I was planted next to him on by design. Like, we took up all the other chairs first, so I sit nearby him and some lady comes up and asks for a photo. She hands him the photo, the, the camera to take the picture, and he uh, acquiesces and takes the photo. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. And he's like, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew you from <laughs> something. And then someone mentioned Sonic. He goes, Sonic, you were in that? And I said, Yeah. Did you see it? He goes, No, I heard it was a terrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> he's so nice. And then he comes in. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. He comes in the next day. He comes in the next day. Going, Oh man, I went to see it. I was saying you were great. He goes, You didn't tell me Ben Schwartz was in it. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, of course. And then That's I, so funny. Anyway. This is great. Yeah, it's great. I got a bad, yeah, just like a great acting exercise. So much. So you've been doing a lot of comedy because I know you did, um, or recently I should say, uh, you worked with Jerry Seinfeld on the Pop Tart yeah, movie, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that must have. And is that sort of satire too, or is it actually the the genesis of how the Pop Tarts came to be? Yeah, I, that's one that's tricky to talk about because it's just I, it's very early in the game. But yes, I jumped at the chance to work with Seinfeld because he's such a legend. Um, but yes, it, it's. Um, it's going back in time and sort of following <laughs> how the pop tart was invented, and there was a need for a, a shelvable pastry. <laughs> and there was a, <laughs> the greatest a space thing of all race time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This company and this company <laughs> to make it, and it's, you know, it's, as it, it'll be bizarre and hilarious. So, yeah. in the spirit of uh, crazy courtroom annex, we're going to play a little game with these gentlemen. We're going to read some headlines, and they're going to tell us if they think the headline is real or fake. Okay, Ooh, you got okay. this, Ronald. So, all right. Woman sues weather station for predicting wrong weather. I would believe that. I would believe it too. I would believe it's that. real. Yeah, oh, that's real. How about this? Man sues Uber driver for not playing music for his 30-minute ride. Oh, uh, I believe that too. I would believe it, but I'm gonna say fake. Hey. Ooh, with the win. Hey. That was a fake one. Don't play poker with Ronald. Right. Um, man sues wife for always having SpongeBob SquarePants on in the house. <laughs> Let's say that's not true. Yeah, I'm going with James. But wouldn't yeah, it be great if it was? We couldn't come up with a better one. We couldn't come up with a better one. Okay. Woman sues man for $10,000 for standing her up on a date. All these you litigation. Have to, you have to he lied. Right. Because, quote, he lied. Oh, because, quote, he lied. I thought that was the punchline. Uh, what do you think? About I that? think it's true. I'd say. Remember that headline? She sued somebody because he stood her up on a date. I don't that know if she true. won or it not, but true. that is a wow. true. We love story. our litigation. Here we go, hey. right there. Just getting you all fired up for Jury Duty, yes. which releases on Amazon free the April 7th. So check it out. Great to see you. Nice to meet you. You yeah. did awesome. That's great. Man. More Congrats. acting in your future. Yeah. This time you'll That's know funny. about it. <laughs> Coming up, his new movie, Spinning Gold, takes us on the journey of a music industry legend. Jeremy Jordan is here. That's coming up hey. next. That's fun, man.